Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash and we've got a very special knife this time. This is the Takayuki Shirogami or White Number no. 1 Sakimaru Takohiki 300mm. Uh, I did a little research on this uh, to come up with this name as being a little more accurate representation of the knife style. So that's what I put down here. I do not normally do an unboxing, but I am going to do so in this particular case. So you can read about this on the website product page. I've got a lot of detail there, but this is basically a uh, an awesome collaboration between three of the top knife making uh, artisans in Japan, and the result is quite exquisite. So this is the box, of course, that it comes in. And I kind of knew that something was special. Mark didn't tell me what was coming this time. I just said, send me what you want. So I knew this was kind of special just even before I pulled the box open. But uh, this is a very special knife. Again, there's a lot of descriptions on it, but uh, it comes in uh, very nice packaging. You've got the sheet there as well. And so this comes with a matching saya, uh, the same kind of wood. So let me just pull these out, put this off to the side. So this review is going to a little bit be a bit a little bit longer, but uh, this knife deserves it. So we're going to pull that out. The handle does have a shrink wrap on it. I'm not going to take that off. That is the uh, for the new owner to do. That's their privilege purchasing a knife of this caliber. So here's our matting saya. I have not pulled that out of the plastic as of yet. So this is just an awesome, awesome knife. It's just an exquisite piece of craftsmanship. And uh, let's go through the specs on it. So the, the core steel is Shidogami, or white paper number one, uh, high carbon reactive, high carbon steel. The heat treats approximately 61 to 63 Rockwell's kind of the target range. The construction is two layer. It's a soft iron cladding over the top of that uh, harder core which is on the left side and will peek through this this cladding does cover the top so it's a two-layer construction this is a right hand uh, single bevel knife so it's a chisel type grind that's a right-handed uh, for a right-handed person and uh, so this knife is all reactive there's no uh, semi stainless or stainless or any anything on this the weight on this is about 245 grams or 8.6 ounces. The edge length is 270 millimeters or 10.6 ounces. And the overall length is about uh, 450 millimeters. Uh, so this is labeled as a 300. The spine thickness, I measured this in four places because this actually thins out as you go, more so than many of these style of knives. So it's uh, about 4.15 millimeters at the heel. And I measured it. Oh, about maybe halfway down, it was about 3.15. And I measured it about a quarter of the way down, three quarters of the way down, about 2.7. And I measured it an inch or so from the end, it was about 2.2. So this thing does kind of have a continuous taper on the thickness as you go down the blade. Pretty impressive. Uh, the blade height is 33.3 millimeters. The handle is an octagonal... Uh, handle with uh, white buffalo horn for the end cap and the ferrule, and it also has what's known as a uh, giborsha or giborsha wood, uh, which I didn't do the research on that. I should, but it's got a really nice warm reddish feel to it. This has some nice pockets of um, grain on it, some figure uh, right about there. Uh, the white buffalo horn is really cool. Here's the butt end of it. Again, I'm leaving the plastic on this. So the uh, saya as well is a uh, matching wood. The, whoops, excuse me, the giborsha, if I'm pronouncing that right. So very nicely done, nice finish on it. It's got a little bit of a taper facets here on the top part of it. Uh, it definitely matches this tip style, this uh, kind of uh, katana style tip. Got an angle here matching the single bevel. Right side, or I should say the left side is flat, so this mirrors the style of the blade. Uh, very, very beautiful work. And probably the most uh, stunning aspect of this, it, besides it being just a beautifully crafted blade, it's got a gorgeous 
Kasumi finish on it. Um, it's kind of got a mirror polished on it. You can see that. And um, but it's the, it's the uh, engraving on this. The chisel work is just. You look at this and you can tell that the kanji is hand engraved. But then when you just look at this, the flowers and the various components of this, uh, the graphics on here, you know, it almost doesn't look like it's hand engraved, but it is. And when you run your fingers across it and you get a little bit of a magnification on it and start really looking up close, uh, this was done by hand, folks. And this is just absolutely impeccably done and just stunning. So this is an exquisitely... Uh, crafted knife. It's got exquisite fit and finish on it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So it's hard to explain how pretty this is uh, until you see it in person. It's just absolutely magnificent. So, you know, this is all hand done and you can feel it when you run your fingers across it. It's just absolutely stunning. So, back side of the blade, you've got some embossed kanji on it here and you've got the typical slight concave to the back side where you've got the sharpening effect of wearing away the perimeter. Beautifully done. This knife is super straight. It's just an absolutely gorgeous finish on it. I guess let's get our beauty shot here. This is just an amazing knife. It's probably the sharpest single bevel knife I've had out of the box and uh, I've had a fair amount of these in hand and this thing seven maybe eight out of ten it's very very sharp out of the box so you've got uh, polished obviously mirror polished top part of the blade flat you've got a mirror polished spine uh, choil area uh, just absolutely top-notch uh, it gets thinned out as you go and of course is a right hand single bevel style grind and beautiful Kasumi finish. I don't know, there's not too much more I can say about it. Um, balance point, if you're interested, is right about there. So it's just, just an amazing knife. So I'm just going to kind of do some close-ups here so you can get some more eye candy. But, uh, I mean, you can see this is just awesome. So this is quite the collaboration and just a, a beautiful piece of craftsmanship. So, there you have the first and maybe only unboxing I've maybe ever done for the Quick Look video. So here the, is the Takayuki Shirogami number 1 Sakimaru Takohiki knife 300mm.